So you may see what is the vertex, max or min, and end behavior, and then they're going to give you a question. So the easiest question on there for me is the end behavior. Because all you have in this case, the leading is positive or negative? Positive. So because the leading coefficient is positive, the leading coefficient, the end behavior is Yeah, it's up and up, right? Now, if that had been a negative 2, then I would write So up and up This, right? Uh, maybe not that wide. Actually, I know this is not that wide, but that's the purpose, okay? I answered one of the four questions. Would this have a minimum? It would have a minimum, right? Now, the minimum, you need to tell me what the y value is. Minimums and maximums deal with the y value. It is, in this case, the y value it could possibly be. So the easiest way to get the minimum because it will be the y value of the vertex. Okay? So to find the vertex, you could either use negative b over 2a, which is where you would take 2 times 2 by 4 is, is negative 2. And then we plug negative 2 in here to the y coordinate. That's one way to do it. What I would recommend you do is to go to your quadratic. Okay. And you're going to go y equals. And you're going to plug this in to x. X is right here. Right. Squared is right there. Right, that's squared. Two x squared plus eight x. Remember, x is here. Minus two. And so you're going to graph it. And in case you forgot the up, up, down, down rule, quadratics are always up and up or down and down. In this case, it's up and up. Yes. Oh, okay, so your window's messed up. That happens. Some kids change the windows. You know, this calculator will use the last window that whoever set it at. And so if, if you don't like your window, and by window I mean X to X, Y to Y, you go here to Zoom. So it says Zoom. And then you go down to Standard. And Standard will set it from negative 10 to 10, negative 10 to 10, okay? Mine was already set like that, that's why I didn't change any. Mm -hmm. Is yours good now? Yeah. And so I could tell it's uh, tell it's a minimum just by looking. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find the vertex. Your calculator could calculate so many things. What we're gonna do, question guys. We're going to calculate the minimum by going second. So you hit the yellow button. And then here it says trace. So second calc. And these are all the things you could calculate. Okay? So I did second calc, second calc, second calc. Okay? Now in our case, this is going to be a minimum. So I go down to minimum. And I just hit enter. And your calculator is going to ask you for three things. Notice the first thing it asks you for is the left bound. What that means is choose to the left of the vertex. And then you hit enter. And then it'll say right bound. So you choose to the right of the vertex. Hit enter. And then it'll make these two little triangles. And it'll say, do you want me to guess between these two triangles? And you'll hit enter again. So left bound, you're just going to use the left arrow to go to the left. Left, anywhere on the left. Just somewhere on the left. You have to tell the calculator, calculator where to look. So go somewhere to the left, hit enter, okay? And notice it says now, what is the right bound? So I'm gonna go to the right of the vertex, anywhere on the right. You could go way over to the right if you wanted to. You're gonna go all the way to the right, using the right arrow key. There is fine, right of the vertex, hit enter. And it's gonna say, do you want me to guess between these two triangles? 
well, the, the vertex is right there, so yeah, I do. So hit enter again. Now your calculator has rounding issues. And part of that's because we're asking it to calculate something. So when it says 1.999999, mm -hmm. just assume that that's 2, okay? Or if it says like negative 1, or if it says like negative 2.00000001, that would be negative 2. And if you ever see an E, an E in there means that it's 0. So if you ever see one with an E, that means put a 0 instead. So my minimum is at negative 2, comma, negative 10. And my minimum would be negative 10 because that's my smallest point. So my vertex is negative 2, negative 10. And my minimum is always, or maximum, will be that number. So my minimum is negative 10. That is my smallest y value it could possibly be. Okay, so the min or max always comes off this coordinate. So then I answer the three questions. What's the vertex? Negative 2, negative 10. What's the max or min? It's a min at negative 10. And it is up and up.